here we are with the crumbs. What are they called? The, the Lesions. Lesions. We'll go with Lesion. Yeah. All right. I'll, I'll keep switching the name on you as we keep going. On. Okay. Good. <laughs> okay. So we're gonna start off with the Hebes. The Hebes, unlike the other Lesions who look, whatever, who love the sea, works strictly on land. It loves to, what? Nothing, I mispronounced I just, it in five seconds. <laughs> like, already the name has been changed to... Yeah, it loves to take long naps under a blazing hot sun and sunbathe. Well, if you're going to take a long nap under the sun, then you're probably generally sunbathing. Generally so, yeah. Um, I remember when these things came out in Monster Hunter 3, how super excited I was, because I thought they were freaking awesome. And I still really do like them, but they're kind of hard to raise in my opinion. Um... I always, I never really considered them like a generation one kind of monster. Like you don't start with these, you kind of just work your way into it. That's how yeah. I always pictured them. Yeah. Okay, so we got the Scarapio. The Scarapio's favorite food is a sweet nectar of flowers because it readily follows anybody that'll give it nectar. It often goes missing. Breeders yeah. beware. Interesting. I think they're trying to go off the whole worm reference, I guess. Even though it's a Beckmon. Oh. Okay, I, I, I can see that. That's what I'm guessing. I mean, I don't know. I mean, yeah, it makes sense. Okay, so we got the Lava Lessie. Inside a body that can stand up... Sorry. Inside a body that can stand up to lava, it keeps a cool level head. A monster you can rely on, it can always make a calm decision no matter how tough things get. When it said it can stand up to lava, my Asperger's kicked in, and all I could think about was it standing up against the lava saying, Man, I'm better than you! So I got confused. <laughs> now I'm like imagining this thing going, You shall not pass, lava! <laughs> so yeah, I think I did mention like a, a while ago that I got diagnosed with Asperger's, and I've been working really hard to like understand people better, and it's been freaking awesome, because I actually understand what people are saying more than I ever used to. And uh, I actually understand y'all's comments more than I used to as <laughs> well. But um, I'm sure y'all have noticed I've gotten better at reading out loud, too. I'm practicing that. I stop trying to think about the sentence now, and I just read it, and then I think about it after the fact, but it doesn't always work, obviously. <laughs> yeah, sometimes you kind of say things, not, not you, just like generally you. Say things, yeah. and after you get to the end of the sentence, you're like, oh, wait, what did that mean? Yeah, so that's one reason I kept getting trick tripped up before is because I was thinking at the same time as reading, and I'm trying not to do that because it messes me up at work all the time too. Hmm. But yeah, the Lava Lessie, thats it's definitely one of my favorites. Um, I've had them before, actually. It, it is a good looking one. Yeah, and he's actually pretty well balanced too. It's the Grapey! Unlike most of these things, it's a little sulky, but it has an affectionate side too, and brings out the mat maternal instinct in people, not the material instinct in people. That's why female breeders love it. Aww. It is kind of cute. I kind of wish they had given it more like a webbed look on its uh, fins, though. Yeah, it would have been nice to have had that. I mean, it, it, it feels like it's like 90% of the way there. There's just something missing from it to make it special. Yeah, I think it's either something on the tail or something on the fins. That would have made it, like, all the way there. Mm -hmm. Or fangs. Oops. Whoa. Sorry. Okay, it's the Yuma. <laughs> this, whatever this thing is, type Hengar was built by long-ago people for use on land as well in the water. Because it was made for searching for things, it rarely gets lost. Because it was made for searching for things. Okay, that's a strange sentence. I like these two, but of course I like most things that are part Hengar. I was gonna say, they are some of the best looking ones I guess. Like, this looks like it would be kind of awesome. I can kind of see its head above the water, like a periscope almost, and the rest of yeah. it below the water. It just looks really cool. I like how it's got the four, the four eyes, because you're right, you can just barely put it above the water, and that top eye can look above. Mm -hmm. I like how they, they went a little above and beyond there with the yeah. eyes. It's the Jimbo. <laughs> this monster is popular with everybody, from little kids to mothers. Loving at times, it has a keen battle sense. It puts its opponents to shame in acrobatic battles. With little beach balls. I do like how they, they made it more realistic in this one, because Monster Hunter 3 was very cartoony with its cell shading. And when they made it there, it was a very cartoony looking monster, and I liked how they really did... Um, try to make it more realistic. They kind of rounded him out more, too, as time went on. 
Yeah, and they give him the, the cute little eyes. Mm -hmm. And he's asleep. I keep pushing that button, I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> so I'm used to playing... Uh, I'm actually in the middle of playing other games. Like, I'm still playing Final Fantasy XV, and I just started playing Suikoden Tear Christ again. Because I just realized we, last week I hadn't played it since it came out. <laughs> so, really? Yeah, I only played it once. Huh. And so, yeah, real quick on that. When I played it, my roommate at the time... Uh, she would literally every important event that happened in the game, she'd come running in and start talking to me, and I couldn't pause in the middle of the cinematic, so I actually missed a lot of the game. And I had so much going on, I just never played it again. And then time passed, and I just remember not liking it. And then it occurred to me, you know what? I didn't really give it much of a chance because I was just mad that Flick wasn't in it. <laughs> but uh, you know, playing it again, I remembered how much I hated about the fact that I had to buy weapons. It's a freaking Suikoden game, and I have to buy weapons. There's something wrong with that. Anyways, the Charlie. No, oh, that's you. I'm sorry. It's the Charlie. <laughs> the Charlie. See, I, I was just reading the beginning of my description. I beached to it. That's <laughs> the Charlie, the gentlest of all these things. It loves to take afternoon naps more than anything else. The second thing it loves second best is eating. We have a lot of hungry monsters. See, they add the little toes here. I thought that was a good touch. And the stripes and, are cool too. Yeah, I, I think they did a good job here. I mean, it's just nice and simple. We didn't really have to do much on this one. It's the Mochisaurus! It's been long treasured as a messenger of fortune that brings happiness wherever it goes. This rumor isn't even true, but the poor monster feels pretty pressured. Aww, it's actually kind of cute! Thank goodness the... they didn't on. give it lips. <laughs> no kidding. Well, it has kind of like a saddle thing going on too, which is neat. Yeah, I like that, and I'm just really glad they didn't give it those stupid lips. I think that saved it. <laughs> it's the oh, goodness gracious. Speaking of lips, <laughs> from bustling Naniwa, it lives. Sorry, from bustling Naniwa, it loves living places. It oh, I'm sorry, lively. It loves lively places and can't relax when it's quiet. Some thinks it's cute, and others think it's gross, but it doesn't care either way. I'm sitting too close to the TV and I can't read. Yeah, that, that thing is... It's a thing. It's a thing. That, yep, I agree. I can confirm. We will not end the video on that. We will end it on... That. <laughs> we'll see you guys next time for... What was it? The Suzerains next? Uh, sure. Yeah, I think it's Suzerains. So we'll see you guys next time. Bye for Bye now. Bye, guys.